In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Father. And welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of Manawag. Today, we come together to thank the Lord for His goodness to us. As we come together, let us give thanks to God. Let us praise His name. And let us also pray for our very own personal intentions, especially the season of Lent, where we return back to our life, to ourself, asking for forgiveness for the sins that we have committed. To make ourselves worthy of this holy celebration, once again, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. As we say, I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, <clears throat> that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. We invoke your mercy in humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the fiscal festivities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them making for themselves a molten calf and worshipping it, sacrificing to it and crying out, This is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-naked this people is. Let me alone then, that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them, then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord, his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt? which such great power and with so strong a hand. Why should the Egyptians say, with evil intent, he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth? Let your blazing wrath die down. Relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swear to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and all this land that I promised. I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
who remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Our fathers made a calf in Horeb and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive rot. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Please stand. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf. And I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I said this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamb, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish these works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me was, has testified on my behalf, but you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you, because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf, but you do not want to come to me to have life. <clears throat> I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I come in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yes, yet if, any other, if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, to whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. It's only about two weeks, and we will be celebrating the Holy Week. After the fifth Sunday, we will celebrate the Palm Sunday, and ultimately, we will celebrate the Good Friday and Easter. And if we notice the Gospels that we had been reading, it is now the time that our Lord reveals totally Himself. Before 
He just performed miracles. He just gave sermons on the mouth without owning, really introducing himself who he was. And that is because our Lord wants the people to discern, to understand that and to know him who is really Jesus. He wants the people to study what he was doing. He wants the people to understand his teaching. He wants the people to observe and to follow him. Yet, as we know, especially the leaders, the Pharisees, the scribes, especially those teachers and lawyers in the temple, do not allow him to be known and do not follow him, do not want to accept him. Only those people, ordinary people, whom Jesus did some miracles, recognize his being sent, his being a Messiah, his being a Savior. And remember, only those people with simple faith that somehow acknowledge the Lord. And the Lord argued with their accusation, especially when our Lord sent and commanded the sick person who suffered for 38 years and commanded him to go down to the pool of Siloam, of Bethesda, and to take up his mat and go home. And it was Sabbath, and people observed that he was healing during Sabbath, that Jesus worked on Sabbath. And the first answer of Jesus is that even the Father is still working, and he is only reflecting, doing the will of the Father. And besides, Jesus himself taught that the man, that man is not made for Sabbath, but Sabbath was made for man. So our Lord wants to let them to understand, to know him. And our Lord pointed out four kinds of testimonies. First, the testimony of John. John presented him, remember, this is the love of God who takes away the sins of the world. And certainly, the voice of the Father. The, this is my beloved Son during his baptism and during the transfiguration. And because they do not witness and seen the Father or heard the Father, they do not believe. Yet another testimony that will testify him to be the Son of God, to be the Messiah, are his very own works, the healing of many sick people, the cleansing of the lepers, giving light to the blind, and even returning back to life, the dead persons. These are the testimonies that will give him the truth that he is indeed the Son of God. And lastly, that scripture himself, the scripture that draws towards him, saying, talking about the Son of God, about the Messiah, who are going to fulfill the will of the Father. Indeed, this is a present challenge to each and every one of us. How do we accept Jesus in our life? Or who is Jesus in our life?
Have you ever asked yourselves, returning back and forth inside the church, listening to the words in the readings, or seeing in the television, listening to the radios, talking about Jesus, but you, in our very own self, who is Jesus in my life? You see, the kind of God that is just accommodated by what we would like. Or you see the kind of God that is merciful because He forgives us whatever sins we commit as long as we ask for forgiveness. Or you see, the kind of God, a provider, that when we ask na mananalo tayo sa luto, dapat mananalo tayo. Or you see, a kind of God accommodating, accommodating our prayers. Pagalingin mo ako at sisimba ako. Gagawin ko ang lahat. Tutulong ako sa simbahan. Is that the kind of Jesus that we are looking? Then, if that is the kind of Jesus, then Jesus is not true in our life. Jesus is only a created being. Not created by God, but created by our very own whims, by our very own need, and even created need. So my dear friends, we still have two weeks, two weeks to search and to find out who is Jesus in my life, in my heart, in my mind. <clears throat> We will stand. Too often we stray from the Lord's ways. Let us ask Him for the strength to live lives of faith. For every intention we say, Father, help our unbelief. Father, help our unbelief that Christians everywhere may be more fervent in prayer during this Lenten season. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, help our unbelief. That unbelievers may listen to God's word and be brought to salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, help our unbelief. That present uncertainties in the church may be resolved by an increase of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, help our unbelief that the poor, the sick, and the handicapped may see God's presence in their lives by the support of their families and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, help our unbelief. That the dead may reach their <coughs> eternal home with the help of our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, help our unbelief in silence. Let us now pray for very own personal intentions. Father, enlighten us through the Holy Spirit that we may openly profess our faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through through the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruits to divine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. <laughs> Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us in our frailty from every evil and always grant us your protection to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We will lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions, adores, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy. Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a fount of holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts of pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give us thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Elmer, his assistant bishop, the religious, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, 
with our Father Saint Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit that we co heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy heaven. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I love you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I will place my law within them. I will write it upon their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people, says the Lord. You are listening to the live Mass on Air at the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. And the celebrant for this live Mass on Air is Reverend Father Bienvenido Trinilia Jr. O.P. Let us pray for Mr. Wilson Chua and family of Bitstop Network Services Incorporated for their generosity through iradioportal.com and for the intention of our sick brothers and sisters and to all Filipinos working abroad. For you who are listening to this radio and watching through the internet, the live broadcast of this Holy Sacrifice of the Mass being celebrated in this Shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may I invite you to pray with me this spiritual communion in the act of charity. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Prayer for an act of charity. Oh my God, I love you above all things with all my heart and soul because you're all good and worthy of all love. 
I love my neighbor as myself for the love of you. I forgive all who have injured me and ask pardon of all whom I have injured. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Ito po ay isang palala ng Radyo Manawag. Minamahal namin mga kapatid, kami po ay taos pusong nagpapasalamat sa patuloy niyong pagtangkilik sa Radyo Manawag. Ngayon po ang misang ito ay para sa mga may sakit at lalong-lalo na yung hindi makapunta sa simbahan dahil sa kanilang karamdaman at kapansanan, pagamat pilay at hindi sila makalakad dahil sila nasa higaan. Pero ang misang ito ay para sa lahat din po. Nga lang, mahalaga po na tayong walang sakit, walang karamdaman, makinig tayo, pero kinakailangan po na pumunta pa rin tayo sa simbahan mismo parang tayo ay maka physically makapagparticipate kayong po na mga may sakit kung gusto po ninyong magkomunyon lapitan lang po ninyo ang parokya ang parish priest at the same time ang parokya ng manawag parang humingi kayo ng komunyon at kayo bibigyan ng komunyon sa inyong mga tahanan maraming salamat po sa pamagitan ng radyo ito kami po ay nakakapaglingkod sa inyo God bless us all. Please stand. Let us pray. With this sacrament we have received, purify us, we pray, O Lord, and grant your servants freedom from all blame, that those bound by a guilty conscience may glory in the fullness of heavenly remedy to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a while for some announcements. The Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on May 3, 2017, third Wednesday of Easter season. Novena Masses will begin on April 24, every hour from 5 a.m. to 12 noon. There will also be a Novena Mass at 4 in the afternoon. We invite you to participate in the said Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may approach the personnel at the religious store, at the ground floor, or at the museum. Novena Masses will be aired over Radio Dominico ng Manawag 102.5 FM for live streaming, you may also search for Radio Dominico in the internet. The Novena booklet in honor of Our Lady of Manawag is now available at the religious stores. You may now buy your copy of the revised edition in English. Every Friday throughout this Lenten season, there will be a Way of the Cross at 4 p.m. to be followed by the Mass. You are all invited. 
important announcement in line with the upcoming observance of the Holy Week and the celebration of Summer Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we would like to inform you that the parking area inside the Basilica will be closed. This is to make way for the preparation, maintenance, and improvement of the Basilica. We apologized for the inconvenience. Thank you. Please stand. I would like to thank each and everyone also for your participation, especially during this celebration. Thank you very much for coming, for visiting Our Lady of Manawag. I would like to thank particularly our sisters, Dominican sisters of San Manuel, for helping us during the, this celebration, especially in distributing Holy Communion. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. O God, protector of all who hope in you. Bless your people, keep them safe, defend them, prepare them, that free from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love. To Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. May I invite you to come nearer for the blessing of our sick brothers and sisters as well as the blessing of your religious articles. Our hope is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Throw be kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may all these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us sing the Immaculate Mother. Immaculate Mother, we come at thy call and lower at thy altar before thee we fall. Ave, Ave. Three. 